Good morning, VSU. My name's Sean Wilkinson. Welcome to the show today. Joining us uh, straight out of Valdosta University is today, believe it or not, another Sean Wilkinson. Woo! Cheer for the crowd. Woo! Hi, everybody. Good to see you today. Thanks for having me on your show today, Sean. I really appreciate it. I'm excited about this vlog. I heard uh, Chelsea, she, she put up an awesome prompt and really good questions. You're correct, Sean. She did. So the questions asked were, out of the readings, there were so many great ones. What was your favorite? And she talked about this student-centered model. What, what are your thoughts about it? Could it work? How, what, what do you know? Well, I would have to say, Sean, that my favorite chapter, honestly, was six as well. Uh, the student-centered model was extremely, it was kind of eye-opening. Um, it reminded me, to be honest, a lot of our graduate assistantships. Graduate assistantships? How's that? Well, it almost seems like it's the same idea, where for our GAs, we work 20 hours a week, and we have our tuition paid for and I started thinking to myself, what could that work for students? Um, could students, an undergraduate, work these jobs um, full time and then have their tuition paid for? Undergrad students, but Sean, they're young and immature. And have you seen some of them? I saw someone look like they were talking to a tree the other day. I don't know if I can trust them to do these professional level jobs. You're right, there are some ones out there that are interesting, and are they mature enough to be doing these jobs, say, in financial services? Probably not. But when we got our graduate assistantships, we didn't just kind of get handed them, we had to apply for them. We had to make resumes. We had to interview. And in my opinion, these are some things that undergrads have troubles with. And so shouldn't it be something where we don't just hand out these work-study type jobs to these undergraduates, they have to apply for them. So not only do we get to pick the ones that we believe could be best for the job, but they're also working on resumes, they're working on cover letters, they're working on their interview skills, because in, in my role as a graduate assistantship, we've been hiring a lot recently, and that's a skill that a lot of undergrads don't have. Really, what do you mean? Have you had some doozy of resumes? Yes, you can definitely tell that a lot of times that these undergrad students, it's their first time doing a resume, it's their first time applying for a job, and it's just, it's, it's not good. Um, so I think that would be a really good way of weeding out maybe students who aren't ready to do these very difficult jobs at times. Not to mention, I mean, you could even have a requirement that says only upperclassmen are able to do these. Uh, freshmen, they, they're still not ready yet, they're still learning how college works, things like that. So possibly it starts on maybe their second or third year at an institution. Now, Chelsea had mentioned that these jobs, they're going to help you with leadership skills, time management, things like that. What are your thoughts pertaining to those kind of items and um, these jobs kind of helping with that? How would that work, Sean? Well, no, I definitely think it would help with those items. Um, you're learning how to balance school and work and not just um, kind of a after hours at night job. It's more set schedule. Um, the other cool thing is I'm sure it'll work more around your school schedule working on campus that usually goes with it. And not to mention, Chelsea, I remember hearing this fact that it, students are more prideful about their job when they're working for a university. And I think that's 100% correct. Um, we even learned about this in our campus culture class a little bit where the more involved the student is, the more they do feel prideful about the school. Um, the better job they do, the better critical thinking that they do, and um, they just feel like the school really cares about them as well. So I think having these kind of work for tuition jobs will bring almost a stronger campus culture to VSU, or I'm sorry, to any institution that starts up this, um, this program. 
and the ones that have it out um, already. I think it's great. And I'm sure even with us, we've learned that working our graduate assistantships has taught us these skills. Um, I definitely feel like after working with the staff and um, at a whole new place, my leadership skills have improved. I know my time management skills have improved. And this could be the same thing um, for undergrad students. It would be pretty spectacular because it'd be kind of nice to have a job associated with their debris, degree track. What do you mean by that, Sean? Um, couldn't any job technically help with these skills and help them in the future? Yeah, definitely. I would say that many of these jobs would. Um, but if you had a position that was more directly in line with what your major is going to be, say, for instance, you were um, a science student and your your work for tuition program was working for the science department, possibly helping in a chemistry lab, possibly going out and doing field research with these professors. Um, that is not only just going to help you earn your keep, earn your tuition, but in the long run, these undergrads could be coming out with way more experience than someone who just um, flipped burgers for their college career. I remember from undergraduate I, I know I got more out of internships, out of um, field work, things like that, by leaps and bounds um, in comparison to sitting in a lecture hall, which I got a lot out of, but that in the field, boots on the ground, that experiential learning is really, really, I think, um, more important and it, it helps a lot more. Well, Sean, thank you very much for the interview today. It was honestly spectacular, the highlight of my day. Mine too, Sean. It was a blast. Well, from Valdosta State University, we'll see you all later, Internet world. Well, I guess more the blog group, because I don't think the Internet really watches this, but deuces.